Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you my Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Fast and Easy Leveling Guide. Now I usually do this in two parts, um, Part 1, Method 1, that's going to be this video. Part 2, Method 2 is coming soon. So for this one I usually like to do it after the second time through Hollow Bastion or what is now called Radiant Garden. Um, you fight the organization, you fight the Thousand Heartless, and then you get automatically that it takes you out of this world. So you're supposed to continue on with the story. I'd go ahead and do the Land of the Dragons and then Beast Castle. I do Beast Castle up until right before you fight Zaldan. Okay? Now, for this, you're going to need a special item. So go back to Hollow Bastion or Radiant Garden and go to the postern. Now, here you're going to find the three fairies or if you know their actual names uh, leave it in the comment section below for anybody who has played Final Fantasy 10 or 10 2 um, you will get a keyblade from them called Gullwing now this is a special keyblade that has experience boost ability on it which is going to come in real handy for the method we're going to do here Now with this, you have to be at a critical moment, just basically meaning your HP has to be pretty low. So take that, go back to Beast Castle, go to the dungeon, that's where I like to start. Now make sure you have the ability Experience Boost, I think is what it's called. Yes, Experience Boost. So equip that, and this is also another thing that uh, increases your experience gain by 100%. So you're basically going to times any experience you get by 4. So now the trick is you're going to have to lower your HP enough. Now I'm doing this at a higher level. Um, I meant to save my game and use an older save file where my HP was a little lower. But just make sure your HP is low enough. Um, and the best way to test that out is to go ahead and defeat one of the Heartless, see how much experience you get, and then lower your uh, HP. Now for me this may take a while just because the defense is so high um, for Sora now because I have uh, leveled up quite a bit. So that's the only bad thing. You can't hurt yourself, so you have to wait for them to hurt you. So now from here, I go and, oh, one more thing to make sure, because this is kind of a pain in the butt when you try to do this, make sure Donald doesn't cure you. Okay, so make sure it's only in special situations. Okay, so he very rarely cures you. And make sure he doesn't have any uh, high potions or potions in his stock. Now he will heal you every now and then um, if your HP gets too low and stays that way for a while. But you just have to lower your HP back down. So now some enemies I don't even bother messing with because for me it's just not worth my time. Uh, the bigger ones like this guy right here. Um, once you lower your HP enough, you'll get over a thousand experience for just him. Now, see, I almost got 1,100 experience for that, so that's great. And especially if, you know, like I said, I'm, a, I'm at a higher level, yes, but, you know, co first coming here, I was leveling up like two or three times from beginning to, you know, start to finish. So, I mean, it's a really great way to level up early. And, you know, I basically do this method because I hate the phrase level grinding. And the word grinding just makes it sound so like so much work you know it's it's not a good word to use for this kind of thing so 
I, I basically split it up, you know, and it not only, you know, helps me later on level up, you know, even faster because I don't have that much to level up, but it also helps because Zaldan is pretty, pretty dang tough, especially if you're playing on critical mode. Um, and then, especially when you get to the world that never was and you fight Roxas, he is freaking annoying. Um, because his attacks are so relentless, um, but this will help you in defeating him too. So now another good thing about this world also is while you are here, um, I will be making separate videos of this, but leveling up your forms as well. Now you see the drive orbs they've dropped; those are the larger orbs, which I think are worth three or four, maybe. Um, experience points for your master form so you know you kill two birds with one stone um, level up your master form and level yourself up at the same time um, I usually like to do that when I'm here because aerial dodge does come in handy later on and I think also you can do valor form um, especially if it takes quite a few hits to defeat each heartless since valor form you know, levels up for every hit you land. Now see right there, that's that's what annoys me is Donald healed, healed me. Um, there's really, like I said, no other way around that except for making sure his uh, customized abilities are um, only used in emergencies or, you know, emergency situations. And these Heartless do tend to drop uh, HP orbs too, so that's another bad thing you gotta watch out for. But like I said, you know, this is, you know, my method, my personal method, you know, method number one. Uh, method number two will be coming soon. Uh, pretty much same exact method, just in a different location. Now another thing too that might make this a little easier and a little quicker, um, I'm not doing it uh, because I didn't think of it at, at, at the time, but you can use your magic. Um, as long as the magic is coming from your Keyblade, um, it still counts as defeating that enemy with the uh, Gull Wing. So keep that in mind because Thunder is a great thing to use on these guys. Now that's another thing too right there, um, that's another thing that will help this go a lot faster is watching for the reaction commands, especially with the, I think they're called big bandits, um, the big fat guys, <laughs> um, and especially these two, uh, I, I can't think of their names either, but the reaction, uh, reaction commands um, take off a lot of HP too. So that kind of takes you out of the line of fire so that you don't get hurt any more than what you already are.
Now, as a side note, also, um, the main the main area um, foyer, I guess you'd call it, uh, and then this is the ballroom. These heartless are not always here. Uh, sometimes it does spawn nobodies. So if it does that, it's not a big deal because you will get the same amount of XP. I think there are a couple less nobodies than heartless, but it's not that big a deal. So if if you do happen to run into the nobodies, you know just keep fighting your way through. It you'll it's really the same effect. So now that from the dungeon to there and then back to the parlor is start to finish. Um, now you can do this however much you want. For me normally I try to get myself to at least level 50. Um, that's usually a pretty comfortable level even though Zaldin still gives me a little trouble. Uh, just because his you know, attacks are car you know kind of harder to dodge um, but yeah so you know use this to level up your master forms and maybe valor form um, and then you know as far as Sora's level goes you know keep that HP low enough to uh, you know quadruple those uh, XP points that you get so this is a really great method and method number two will be coming soon and also subscribe for more content hit that notification button for more videos when I upload them uh, to get notified um, hit the like button if you like this video any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one